So when someone tells you, hey, it's going to be in the mid 50s and it's January, you're somewhat <laughs> delighted. But then they're like, hey, it's it's also going to rain a heck of a lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 and that's been the case. It's been pretty consistent throughout. So unless you like jumping in mud puddles, <laughs> which is very not fun. Not a fan. Not a fan. No, not a fan. I, only I don't with think my boots on, <laughs> with my galoshes. <laughs> galoshes. But uh, other than that, it's been just kind of a nasty yeah. day all around, and it's going to be a nasty night all around because we have this rain that just continues to cycle in here. Most of it's pretty light and in between we see some drizzle and fog trying to set up but this is not going to be a, a pretty forecast for now for tonight or for the start of the weekend for that matter so plenty of rain coming through here you can see those low clouds hanging here occasionally you see some fog rolling down the allegheny and that's been the case on the other rivers here too but uh just a gloomy cloudy setup with this light rain at the very least, it's warm. We're still hanging on to 50 degrees. And just for reference, a normal temperature for early January would be found in the mid 30s, and that's the mid afternoon high. We're here after sunset, and these temperatures are still hanging on to 50 degrees here in Pittsburgh. We have the calm winds, warm temperatures, high relative humidity, and just the soggy setup with this light rain around. 50s extend up to Butler, back to Indiana. Uh, as you get towards Greensburg, you even bump up to 52 degrees, much like Washington and Morgantown, too. And those areas that are in the 40s, they're in the mid to upper 40s. So this is a warm setup for most everyone. But you can see those temperatures start to waver a bit. You look towards South Bend, you look towards Lansing on the east side of your or the east side, the west side of the map, the left side of your screen, you can see that those temperatures are starting to cool off. And that's from where our colder weather is going to come and it's getting closer and closer. So we're going to eventually see our rain transition over to snow as our temperatures start to fall. So through the night, we hang to the mid 40s. So it's going to be a warmer night. Early tomorrow, that front passes and our temperatures fall and they continue to drop during the afternoon. With that being the case, rain is going to change over to snow, especially once we get down into the mid 30s. So we have this cold front trying to push in here. It really doesn't get a good uh, push through the area as the next system comes zipping along it and bringing more showers tonight and early tomorrow. A little bit of a break then tomorrow afternoon. We stir up the rain and snow again with this next disturbance that's going to come through here and that turns on the snow showers. This will not amount to much. Uh, the most we're looking at is one to two inches up in the ridges. Everyone else is looking at a light coating if it doesn't all melt on contact. Sunday late, the next system zips through and that brings us another little bit of snow. Again, it's not going to be too much, but on a closer view, you can see this rain is going to stay pretty consistent through the course of the night. And then once we get into tomorrow afternoon, that snow tries to, or the rain transitions over to snow showers. And I was telling you, it doesn't amount to too much. Through the day Saturday, maybe a quarter inch of snow, a little dusting. Here in Pittsburgh, that doesn't uh, melt, and then you get a one to two inches as you get up into the ridges. Sunday night snow, that adds just a little bit to this. The, both these, even combined, don't amount to too much. So tonight, it's rain. There's going to be some areas of fog, too. Temperatures hanging in those mid-40s through the night. And then tomorrow, an early high of 46. Temperatures falling through the course of the day. And you can see, once we get into the afternoon, that's where those temperatures start to drop. Once we get into the mid-30s, that's where we see a mixture and change over to the snow showers. And that'll be the case by the time we get into the evening hours. And over the next several days, you can see we get some chances of snow again late Sunday. Break on Monday. Tuesday, scattered snow. Should be light snow on Wednesday, too. But for the most part, uh, these, none of these snow showers look to be anything too big. Now, later in the forecast, we do get another warm up. And next Friday looks an awful lot like today. Temperatures close to 50 degrees and with it, rain again and I know we're heading into the weekend and a lot of people have a lot of things to do and with the soggy weather a great tool to have is the KDK weather app you can see where those showers are where the snow is because we have an interactive radar that tells you all the different types of precipitation hour by hour forecast current conditions and a whole lot more just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and in Google Play.